Hello everyone, welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you news on events and occurrences from across the world, particularly in Nigeria. If this is your first time on this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you can get notification whenever a new post is updated. Once again, welcome on board to Everyday Affairs. All right, listeners and viewers, it's another interesting news for you that says world leaders expecting declaration of Atiku Abubakar as president of Nigeria says Uche Sekundus. The People's Democratic Party, the People's Democratic Party national chairman Uche Sekundu yesterday said leaders of the international community were expecting the declaration of Alhaji Atiku Abubakar as president of Nigeria. According to Daily Post, second those who spoke at the 86th National Executive Committee NEC meeting of the party in Abuja yesterday insisted that President Muhammad Buhari did not win the 2019 general election. He said, the European Union Election Observer Group, the American-based National Democratic Institute and the International Republican Institute, IRI, have confirmed the feeling of Nigerians that the election that produced President Muhammad Buhari was marred by rampant irregularities and therefore fell below credibility standard. The report also lampooned the roles of security agencies during the election and noted that, and noted that the performances of security operatives during the election fell far below the acceptable international-based practice. From these reports, therefore, it is now obvious, even globally, that the will of Nigerian voters freely expressed on 23rd February 2019, when they came out in their numbers and voted for a candidate, Atiku Abubakar, was massively rigged and thwarted. This is clearly this is this clearly is the verdict of the world leaders, who are also watching us as we proceed at the election tribunal. This government, in all sincerity, cannot take this country to the so-called next level. Maybe, as witnessed in the last four years, they will take us to the next level of insecurity, hunger, and hopelessness. The situation is precarious, and it entails that all hands must be on deck to retrieve our stolen mandate and save this country. To do that, we must return to God to ask that the will of Nigerian people freely expressed on the 23rd February 2019 prevails. Secondus also revealed how Ahmad Lawan and Fendi Bajabi Amila emerged as Senate President and House of Representatives Speaker, respectively. He alleged that the ruling, the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, bribed lawmakers to ensure its candidates won. The national chairman said, while the executive arm was having their wish in the Ninth National Assembly, PDP as the main opposition party was very uncomfortable that the level of alleged corruption that preceded the emergence of the, of the leadership is capable of undermining the desired robust legislative activities. Second to said, having purchased the leadership of the parliament, we expect the cabal to now fully take over and dictate the show at the legislature. We have even seen the first sign of what is to come when the APC group in the Senate killed a motion to debate the June 12 speech of the imperial president. Only a conquered parliament with credibility challenge can shy away from discussing a major address of a president just sworn into office. But that is a sign of what is to come when choosing legislative leadership is heavily monetized by a regime that claims to be fighting corruption. The bazaar that took place during the election of the National Assembly leaders clearly gives a picture of the anti-corruption status and how the APC has become home for looters. Just last week, Nigerians witnessed how some corruption charges involving APC chieftains were withdrawn from the EFCC and handed over to the Attorney General, Attorney General for final dropping. Permit me at this juncture, dear leaders, to express the disappointment of our party on the embarrassing roles of some of our party members at the National Assembly during the election of their leaders. Party loyalty demands that you stick to your party at any given situation. When personal interests clash with party interests, personal, personal should drop into that of the party. That's what real Democrats are expected to do. 
Meanwhile, ahead of the November 16 governorship elections in Kogi State and Bayelsa states, the PDP has pecked the cost of its nomination forms at 20 million. The form, which sold for 5 million during the 2019 general election, will not cost more given what the party described as the rising cost of printing and logistics. The decision was taken at the 86th Emergency National Executive Council neck meeting of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, which held at the party's National Secretariat, Abuja, yesterday. Now, dear viewers and listeners, come to think of this. The election petition tribunal are actually sitting on this particular case. Now, the PDP uh, chairman, national chairman has come to say that the world leaders are expecting declaration of Atikwa Obakar as the president. It is true that the 2019 general election were marred by several irregularities, as has been reported by the European Union election observers and uh, so many other groups. But one of the highlights of this particular election is the issue of the server. The PDP have claimed that you know server election results were transmitted to INEC server. INEC had come to um, deny that there is no server anywhere. Then again, they came to say that you know uh, election results or server were, was used at elections that preceded the 2019 general elections. So a lot of confusion and um, denying and uh, claiming and all that has been going on. What do we think is going on in the country? What is happening to Nigeria? Why are the leaders so bent on, you know, giving Nigeria issues that ought not to be? I would like your suggestions and input on this particular story. Kindly drop your comments at the comment section. Thank you and you're welcome.